Hello, my loves. Welcome back. I am so grateful to be able to spend another day and this time with you sharing this message that came through for me yesterday when I was having a really awesome conversation with one of my closer friends here. So I'm gonna leave out names and any specifics and details because none of that really matters. I do thank her for her energy and her presence of and her transparency as we were connecting because it was her transparency that triggered this huge intuitive download that I received that not only was powerful for her situation, but I could apply it in areas of my life. And as I was genuinely channeling spirit, as I randomly do throughout the day, I could 100% see how this message would serve the collective. And I wanted to get it out as soon as I could, as soon as possible, but there were a few things that were happening on this end that stopped me but I'm here now and I want to share it with you so basically what my friend was saying is that she f was reflecting on a time in her life where she had a metaphorical bouquet like bouquets of flowers that she was sharing with the world and from this cart now this wasn't an actual cart full of flowers it was a metaphor for what she felt she was being called or led into giving to her community, to her people, right? This was not only just in her work, but it's also for her family, it's for her friends, it's for everyone that comes in contact with her who, who she crossed paths with. And what she said was that she would find or she would be holding on to these beautiful flowers and was so excited to give them to people and she was just giving them to, for free throughout time. Let's say there was a friend who was crying and sad. She would give them a beautiful flower for free just to put a smile on their face and for the feeling, the satisfaction that she felt of giving something to this person to change their day around. It made her feel so good in that moment. And I'm sure you guys can 1000% relate to that feeling of the joy and the pleasure that you feel when you are when you're filling someone up with what you have been so filled up with. It feels so good to share. It feels so good to put a smile on someone's face. It feels so good to give someone hope, right? So she's, as time goes on, she's giving these flowers to these people and not expecting anything in return. These beautiful flowers. She's not expecting anything in, in return because she can see how it's creating a positive change and she can see and believes within her soul, within her spirit, that the divine has led her, that this is her purpose in order to brighten up or to heal or to show up or to help, right? But as time goes on, that joy is still there, but over time you start to look back and you look at your cart and it's empty. There's no flowers left. And then sometimes you might look around and then you see all these flowers, these bouquets of flowers that you've given to the community. Not everybody respects it. They may even take what you have given and given it to some, give it to someone else that they cherish or that they value more than the time that you have spent with them and what you have given them. They, they see the beauty in what you have given them, but then they actively give it to someone else to express their love and, and consideration. And over time, if that starts to keep happening again and again and again, that feeling of joy and satisfaction and pleasure that you were able to help someone and the peace that it would give you that you were able to brighten someone's day starts to diminish because you are starting to get depleted and you're starting to see that, you know, you have nothing left and you are barren. And where are all those people at now? Where have they gone? Are they your friends? Do they reach out to you? Do you still talk to them? Do they still call you? Or do they only reach out to you when they see that you have a cart full of flowers and they want one? And what happens when they have those flowers? Do they, do they take care of those flowers? Do they pass them along as if it's nothing? When your heart and your intention was pure and when you felt that you were guided and led to, to be generous with them and sometimes people do abuse that. And sometimes the outcome of you sharing your gift and sometimes the outcome of you sharing your flowers with another person doesn't need to end in something tragic or bad or violating in any way for it to make you feel depleted and void of something within you because it's not about that. It's about how 
you show up and you're continually showing up and being gracious and kind with other people, but at the end of the day, where is that energy when it comes back to you? And as her friend, I would sit on the phone and I'm listening to her and I love listening to her speak because she always speaks from her heart. And I vibe with people who speak from their heart. I vibe with people who speak with integrity from their heart space because they are authentic, they are being true to their nature, and they are sharing something that is vulnerable and I protect that and I guard that. Those are my type of people. So listening to her talk about that as her friend, I, I, I wanted to listen to her, I was actively listening and I wanted to be supportive of her. Meanwhile, I start getting this download and as she's talking, I hear spirits speaking to me and saying that, you know, to really listen to your friend, but also listen and hear this message. And this is the message that spirit had for her and for you right now. If you've ever felt that you were in this position of giving and being generous and gracious and kind and helping all these other people and you do it from a pure space within your heart, you really don't expect anything in return. But at the end of the day, a part of you does feel depleted or you've gotten to the point in your journey that you have started to feel depleted, that you have started to feel void, that you have started to feel lack or without or depressed or lost. Spirit came through so strongly and it gives me chills on my skin right now as I'm sharing this with you guys today. Spirit came through so strongly to tell you, to tell you and to tell her and to tell all of us in this moment that this feeling of depletion is something that Spirit really wants you to sit with. Because yes, you were given a purpose. Yes, you have destiny. Yes, you have direction written all over you in every aspect of your life. And spirit loves that for you. You were called into that. But spirit sees you for who you are. Spirit sees your heart, your soul, your dedication, who you are as a person, your character. And spirit sees the value in that more than your purpose here on earth. Yes, you were written with a purpose here on earth, but you are a person first, and you are a person that was cho chosen and treasured in the eyes of spirit before anything else. So when you find yourself moving with your purpose and moving with destiny, and you're reaching out and helping all these people because you were called and you're led into that, don't be startled and don't be ashamed and don't be scared and don't be shocked when there comes a moment on your journey when you start to realize, damn, I've been there for all of these people and I've given my whole heart and soul in all these different circumstances and I can't believe that I'm sitting here right now today and I'm empty hearted and I'm empty, empty handed. I didn't expect anything in return, but damn, the way that my heart feels right now, who can I count on? Who can I lean on? And Spirit says that as crazy as this seems, this is the biggest lesson that I want you to see, hear, and receive right now in full, was that you are more than just your purpose. You are more than just your purpose. You are more than just your purpose. You are more than just your gift. You are a person who has a gift. You are a person with a purpose, but you are more and beyond that. At the end of the day, when you find yourself in that position where you look at your life and you feel that you are empty and that you have no one to count on, it is a time for you to reflect and look into the eyes of the spirit and say, for this moment in my life, I feel alone. For this moment in my life, I am isolated, I'm abandoned. I feel like I have no one to count on and my heart is empty. And spirit looks into you and says, I know. And for this, I wish for you greater. This means that I want you to see all of the people that were around you, that of course you were led to help and that they were led to you to receive that help or to receive that luck or to receive that love. But at the end of the day, when you lift your heads up and see that shit's empty, I want you to see that these are the people, the same people that only showed up because they had something to get from you, they had something to gain from you for good or for bad, we're not judging, but their purpose was to show up in order to gain or to gain something from you. And knowing that, Spirit wants you to know and Spirit wants to implement a new fresh beginning of people that are around you, not for what they can get for, from you, not for just for the sake of your purpose and for the sake of your gifts, but because you, they love you. They want you. They see you. They see your character. They don't see the things that you do that make you so special. I mean, they see it and they respect it, but that's not all. That's maybe 10 to 15% of what makes you special to them because it's your laugh. It's your infectious smile. It's the way that they feel when they're with you. It's how they want to love you. It's how they also want to show up for you. It's the reciprocated energies that are, are prevalent and 
and there and growing and thriving within you and thriving with this, within this relationship that brings them joy, not what they can get and gain from you. You can have a whole basket full of the most beautiful flowers in the end of the world at, at the end of the day and they're not there to take that from you. They may appreciate it and sit with you in your abundance, but they're there because they want to be with you. And Spirit is saying that they want you to see who was there for you when you had nothing, who was there for you when there was nothing expected in return, and who was there for you when you needed a shoulder to lean on and a, a, a backbone, someone to strengthen you, someone to fight for you, someone to stand up for you, and they didn't want to give anything in return other than they didn't want to gain anything from you. They didn't expect anything in return other than the satisfaction that they had simply by being the one to stand by your side and make sure that you were okay in your time of need. And Spiritus says that if you are at this position in your life where you feel like you have no one around you, this is a literally, again, a fresh beginning for you in order to start creating those relationships. Literally take this as a sign that this is a new beginning, a new chapter in your life, and totally fresh energy in order for you to be introduced and led towards people that want to cherish and value you simply for the fact that it is you and you alone and there's no one else on the face of this earth that you are unique and you are loved and they are not going to abandon you and they're not going to expect anything in return not from this connection and then you can continue to show up and give your purpose and give your grace and give your kindness and give your healing and give your love to whoever and however many people you want but at the end of the day you can go home and lay your head down at the end of the night and, and rest knowing that you are not just your purpose, you are not just your gifts, you are a human being with a heart and a soul and a spirit that is worth it, that is worthy and, and needs to be cherished. Spirit does want that for you. Your angels and your guides do want that for you. And they celebrate you in, in how excited and passionate you are and being another helping hand, another bright light that is shining goodness and positivity and healing and helping on this earth because we need that now more than ever. But the same people that are helpers and the same people that are givers are the same people that also need to be poured into. And there's a reason why my friend and I had that conversation. We were on the phone for damn near three hours, my loves, three hours just talking about everything tarot stuff, life stuff, relations stuff, feeling stuff, all those types of things. And the one thing that I will say that came from this is that spirit will always speak into your soul and your spirit whenever the time comes. That is my gift to you. But at the end of the day, I know that there's people that can I can count on, and my dog who just showed up right now, who I know don't want anything other, anything from me other than to just be by my side and to just give me a kissy. Right, Nova? She's literally the queen of kissies. So I hope this message resonates and I'm setting intention that wherever you are, whatever it is that you're going through, no matter where you're at in your journey, that you be led and people are led to you that see you for who you are and appreciate you for who you are. And if you have those people in the vicinity of you right now, in your reality, in your world, I really want to challenge you and encourage you to express gratitude to the universe and to the divine and to spirit for bringing those people into your life because they are treasure, treasure, deep, deep treasure, okay? Those are super gifts. And the more that you express gratitude, the more that you act, a, a, you speak a blessing over those connections and you speak a blessing over your life and your circumstances to invite more of those energies in your life while you're also enhancing and helping people in their lives. I'm sending you guys all of my love. You know where to find me if you need to find me. Of course, that's BahadiLife.com. And you know where to reach me if you need to reach me. And if you don't know, it's info at BahadiLife.com. I'll see you guys in my next video, so make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you later. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential.
Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.